Well everyone, on today's occasion, we are going to learn about how to make animated video using Animaker. To create animation in Animaker, you should sign up first. Actually, there are two ways you can do to sign up. The first one is using Facebook account or using your Google account. Well, if you have already an account, just click directly sign in button and you will be directed to the interface of Animaker.com. Well, to start creating video, the Animaker provides you several frames like horizontal, vertical, square, YouTube frame, and the others. Um, I usually utilize the horizontal one. And here are the templates provided. You can select as you need. Um, if you are a teacher, you can use this template or you can also use this one But maybe you need to modify it a little bit Well in the animator itself uh, Basically, it is divided into four simple parts The first one is right here. It is called as um, Workspace where you are going to be doing all your awesome creation to the right are the scene which you will be using to make your amazing video but i remind you it is better for you to think about the concept or draft for every single scene here for sure it will make you easier well in the bottom we have the timeline where you can control when your characters comes in when different effects come in and then when they grow out all of that are right here and to the left it is a massive library where you can go ahead and then find any characters like object animated text music background and everything to make your video just seem that much better so let's start creating our awesome video um, this is the interface of animaker.com First up, we start from the character. If we go and click any characters over here, you can change the character as you want. Yeah, some of them you can see are free and some of them are paid. So you can see when I click the character, the option here appear directly to the workspace. You will also notice that little purple bar comes on to the timeline. So this is how long the character is going to stay on your timeline. And you can see that. Let's just call him as John. And John will be staying on your timeline from the first second all the way to the 10 second. Now, if I don't want to seem to be this long, like say 10 second, all I have to do is go ahead and click on this little minus button and if, it, if I want to make the scene a little bit longer, I just have to go and click on this little plus button right here. So I'm just going to use this to say 5 or 7 seconds up to you. We can also change the way he act right now and with that, I mean, um, we are going to give him any action and an expression. So, with the action over here, you can see that for the characters. This entire window shows a bunch of different actions that our characters can do. Well, uh, we can see because he is um, greeting us, we can use this action and use the expression as well. Look, he is looking at us very happily. I'm just go and click this happy expression. Well, we are going to go ahead and start out by greeting all students. Uh, take an example, hello students. Now we can edit or change it into animated text by clicking on this little key button right here 
you will get a bunch of different text option you can also create your own text yeah you just have to click right here Well, everyone, you can also add more some text like "How are you doing?" Just click the animated text. Yeah, "How are you doing?" And don't forget to click the purple button in the timeline to make it um, appear till the end of the scene and then we review it by click the scene button And there we go, we have one scene ready now. Oh, well, now let's add another scene. It is as simple as just clicking on a little plus button. Or you can use uh, this duplicate button. On the second slide, um, we can remove unnecessary object like this layer and now we are going to bring out a nice little background and let's just say I want to get a nice classroom so there are a bunch of different background that we do have and choose whichever you want now we go ahead to change the action of the character he is going to explain the today's topic So I think this expression would be the best. You can also make character John smaller or bigger. You can match it with the background. Now, time um, to customize the tag. We can create the one. For example, we can write today's we are going to learn about internal organs. Okay, well done. On your right, on the Windows bar, you can also change the type of font and then um, the size of letter and the color. And you may also add the animated effect to your writing. For example, pop up like this. Now we review it, just click the scene button. Okay, very well done. 
Now let's add another scene. John is going to teach internal organs. And we can start selecting expression or pointing. I think it is the suitable one. Now go ahead to customize the text. You can create your own text. Take an example. Can you mention the internal organ inside the body? Now let's customize the text. You can change the font, color, size uh, right here. And I think John's need um, human anatomy to be shown. You can upload your own picture in your computer directory. Well, you can match it. You can make it smaller or bigger. It's up to you. And then don't forget to click the picture and then make it appear during the scene. as we did before. Let's review it. Okay, very well done. Now everyone, let's another scene as usual. Find the suitable background. I need a beautiful class. You can find it in the background. I want to join walk to another side of the whiteboard. We can use this action plus. You simply come over here. And action plus will help you add a sequence of action to the character so they can do it easily one after the other so we are going to do that by simply clicking on the plus button right here and then let's find the action where john is explaining something well here it is and click on this little thick mark after that apply on and then forget to track the little pin apart on the timeline well play the scene you can see the change he walks in and explaining to us perfect right to add the text you can do as we did before click the title key button and you can find the desired text for example mm, this is the brain well everyone there we go Well, now you can drag the picture. Very good. Yeah, you can set up the timeline. Now we are in other scene and John is asking the students whether they have a question or not. We start from selecting the appropriate uh, expression and action. And let's write the question. Well, perfect. Let's play the scene. Now it is time to play the preview. 
Let's check it out. Well everyone, there we go, our awesome video is ready in just a few clicks and it is that simple to do. So uh, once you're done with the video, all that's left is to publish it. And you can easily do that by just coming over here and clicking on this button right. Here you can download it directly into your computer or directly publish it into any social media all listed here and that's how you guys can make amazing animated video using animator